Hi folks, uh, right, I've been on the Wandle Wi-Fi this morning. <coughs> I'm not going to have a go at the uh, Wandle. Uh, it was, we got caught in a real heavy downpour. So we came home a bit bejaggled, but three out of the four of us had leggings, so kept our legs dry, but uh, mud all up our backs. But uh, good fun, we, we survived. Okay, now I, I like, um, Flat landscapes, really, but um, I'm just going to just start this with the usual. Uh, this one, red and blue, and I don't know if that's Payne's grey or black, but just pushing in, in there. Plenty of oil. It's uh, alky resin. Bit of this, bit of that, bit of that. So what that colour is? Looks like burnt umber. Oh, nice. oh well, interesting. One of those tubes where over the years the label fell off. Let's get some paint paint down. So I'm going to do a sort of flat landscape today. In the wetland boardwalk they started to uh, Cut back the reeds. Let's get some nice oily paint on there. Oh, we'll try that colour. It looks a bit browny to me. That's what it is. Could be uh, Van Dyke brown. Oh well. One that's never ceases, so I just put a bit of it on the so it kind of comes. Well, it looks like a sort of a dark red, isn't it? Oh. Mm -hmm. Alright, a bit of landscape colour, let's get a bit of uh, the start lifting out. So there we go, we'll put a bit of flat landscape in. I'm just using these inch brushes today. I, the th I've got to get, get another one, but the uh, the three inch one that uh, won't see the light of day again. Let's just get a nice bit of light colour on that horizon. Bit of blue in there. Got some sap green there too. Got plenty of this. Big sky, I think. Right, clean the brush. I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible with the materials. Right, I'll start to tamp it away. I've just sewed the board with a... But I don't know if it's going to lift out any more. Huh? Oh yeah. It's now a bit of oil. So this was sort of stain the board. I, I didn't use the gesso, I used a, a white em, emulsion. So there's a, a start of a sky, how are we doing on there? Bit of red, bit of yellow, bit of white. Lump of a nice. Light. Bit of red in the light. There's a bit of cad red. Now 
Now the ones are dark. So blue, red. Oh, well, let's try the blue in that one. And that one, I don't know where it is. It's quite a nice warm dark red, isn't it? Bit of blue. Hard to read with it. I think my medium is quite uh, quite thick. Just working all over it. I've got walnut oil, alkyd resin, and some linseed oil. I think in here. Quite thick, it's a bit thinner, thicker than I would like. I'm going to get some more linseed oil and I'll go shopping. Won't be doing anything from, for a few days next week because I'm, I won't be here. I think I need more oil, walnut oil in there, I think. Sainsbury's. So you can eat this. Or oh, drink it. Just make make it flow a bit. I haven't cleaned out this. Uh, well, I've uncleaned it out. It's just a mess. Look. Just not, it's just going to dump. Go back on the landscape now. Clean the brush. I want to put stuff here so I can wipe it out. Oh, it's a bit red. I'm going to get. I, I saw that. Uh, That um, Stuart uh, Davies uses the yellow, uh, no, the, the red oak. I've never heard of it. So now I've heard of it, I'll uh, think about getting a couple of tubes of it. Oh, that's a shoot. I've cut this board before I went on the bike one this morning. If you've ever been to Salisbury Plain and had a look at Stonehenge, you'll see a fabulous flat, it's so beautiful. That's some Well, that going over, over the landscape, we're going to wipe that out. It's in Wiltshire on the way to Somerset.
Right, tissue. I've been looking forward to doing this all morning. I got another brush. I can just lift it up. Painting without painting there. So we can do that sky so we can advance that a little bit. This will dry quite quickly. Uh, the ones I did yesterday are dry because of the alkyd resin in the, in the paint. So I can put some much more light in the sky. I thought that colour was paint grey. Mm, it's getting very stiff. I prefer paint grey to so this mix of red and blue. But now with a bit of a bit of light clean the brush I think um, the red that I've been using the light red is not really as good as what I think the yellow sorry the uh, the red ochre will be like I've never heard of it, I never used it but I'll get some because Stuart Davis seems to get a good effect from it, we're mixing with the sap green. Alright, let's uh, get some, get into this. To the, uh, I'll show you my palette in a minute. I'm not copying anything he does, I'm just using the ideas about the colours and the techniques because I like myself. But I first did this, as you know, from through watching Dennis Sheehan. Paper. Didn't see any fish today. He uses a, a, a slack of quite a long haired wide brush for this, and probably a outside brush. I guess with a lot of detail, or puts a lot of detail in without any effort. As you can 
soften and you can put, a, put your tissue in it. You can keep working away then until you've got what you think is a, as good as you're going to get it. Let's have sort a of bit on the horizon now. Uh, bit of blue, let's try a bit of, a bit of sap green, a bit of blue, and a bit of yellow. Probably be better with a bit of blue. I'm going to keep my palette covered with clean film so I can use it tomorrow if I'm allowed. Change those colours a little bit, a bit of, bit of yellow on there. Right, then we're going to lift out carefully. with a nail brush. <laughs> we haven't put anything very interesting in it yet. That uh, with the uh, tissue. I don't put too many of these fields in. I, you can get carried away with them a bit. I did yesterday. Oh, that's quite nice. Just add a bit of a clean brush and get a bit of light, light green in there. <coughs> Perhaps I should have just had it. Mm -hmm. 
with the proper gesso because it's gone in, it's dry, dry, the paint's drying into the MDF. It's only two millimetre MDF. My daughter-in-law's bringing over five sh more sheets, four foot by three foot sheets. I've got one left. You can probably see it on those by the area, between the area and the wall behind. Right, okay, let's just get some nice looser stuff on it. Just to get some nice. I'm going to put a bit of a path, sort of a, a track through there if I can. You can be creative with your tissue. I'll put some white on there. Might be able to show it a bit better. So white and yellow and that green, a bit of sap green. It's not a lovely brushes. They're only two, they're only varnish brushes. for the tamping. I've got a couple of tacks, well, uh, veneer pins in there to hold the board off of the support.
Ah, it's going to be dark. There's a nice colour. Okay, well, I might put some buildings in there, just into that. The key to this is live oil, plus a bit of imagination. Hello. Got the light coming from the left. Blue, red, whatever that colour is, all going in. Alright, okay, let's just clean up a little bit. Cleaning up brush. Uh, no, I'll use I'll use that. I'll use that brush. I'm cleaning all these brushes with um, dishwasher cleaner, like this. Yes, you know, dishwasher soap. We go back onto the sky, then we'll have a final look at it and see what we've got. Yeah. 
Yeah, the tissue can create all, create all sorts of uh, fields and A bit of a shadowy colour for Oh well. Change that a little bit. Those shadows. Bit of a sparkle on the tops of those, catching a little bit of that light. I think maybe we could change change out some bushes. I don't know what to put there. Texture, contrast, no detail, just a suggestion. Right, let's go back on that sky. Oh, it's not the best painting I've ever done. But until I get a better idea. <coughs> but I was <coughs> preoccupied with the idea of a flat landscape. The alky resin, that uh, is a, some wonderful stuff, but you have to, well, not like a critic. Do I need anything on that horizon? Could do, let's uh, get a horizon brush. Just a touch of red, touch of yellow, touch of oil. I 
soften the top of that. Flatten the uh, knobby bits. If you get fed up with one wrist, I can you can go back and use the other one. I want a bit of light on the horizon. Not sure about the landscape, of course. Makes uh. for a great stipple. Oh, I'm putting a frame, I'm not going to do any more to it than that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. It's a COPD. Right, let's uh, put it in a frame. Where's my frame going? I think I really need some linseed oil. I've used all mine up and I had quite a lot of it when I came back. Must go to the range. Although the shop that is like a massive supermarket range, they can only carry a limited supply of stuff for more or less basic basics, but a lot of them that's uh the coach going to London or Ryan. Alright, oh, that's a lot. Well that, that looks so bad, does it? I don't know where. Let's get a house brush. Uh, I've got a little flat sable, keeping that away from it. I've sort of gone off the critic for, for, for a while. Because I'm enjoying this uh, way of painting. That's, uh... No, I can't. Oh, this is bigger than I thought. <coughs> oh, let's get a small brush. Oh, a small brush. Use this one. This tiny little one. I just put in some. Uh, some buildings, some white. Roof. 
Yeah, there's a bit left, isn't there? Arms. Um, I'll use a bit of light red because it's a roof colour, you know. Oh, it is. <coughs> light red is a great, great colour. I think it was developed to uh, simulate uh, the roofs in Venice, but I think it, well, it didn't quite come off like that. But. They don't really show, they're not very good. Well, they add a little bit of interest, don't they? That's about all I can say for them. Uh, see what you think on YouTube. <coughs> Right, I think we might be back to some watercolours tomorrow. And hear you cry. Well, it's a painting, that's about the best I can say for it. Thanks for looking in, guys. So, just to raise you up. There you go, see it. And I'll bring the camera to there. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Bye-bye.